guys welcome back to the channel and in this video i'm going to show you the simplest way to complete this lab so first of all just log in with your looker credentials and once you're done your looker dashboard must look like this now just simply click on this enable toggle and just enable it make sure you have to enable the development mode now just simply click on this develop and from here choose the quick lab e-commerce wait for a couple of seconds it loading the data meanwhile in description box i will share this command link so just open that link okay now just wait now click on this models and then click on this file name training underscore e-commerce now just delete all this content copy all this content at a time and paste over here just check the number of lines it's 69 just simply click on save now click on this valid it's validating click on commit and here just type uh, any message like subscribe to quick lab now simply, simply click on commit now click on the deploy to production it will take a couple of seconds and it's done now just simply click on the looker now click on explore from here choose the order item here you can see click over here And now click on the start from here now just wait for to this data get load we have to just make three changes over here and then we are done with the lab so data is loaded now here you can see product department click on this gear icon and from here just simply choose the pivot okay so you are done with this now just simply choose the column wait for a second and it's done now click on this edit option from here just choose the second option make sure this thing column and second option you have done with all this stuff now just simply come on the task number three scroll down a little, little bit and from the point number eight copy this name do not copy that full stop just copy the name click on this gear icon save and save as a loop just paste the name make sure you have to choose the shared option just make sure of these two things title and shared option if you don't don't you won't get a score on the last task okay now just simply click on save it's save now if you just simply scroll down and click on check my progress for the last task you will get a score without any issue okay and if you didn't get a score for the this task so just wait for a couple of minutes and after that you will get a score for the task number one also okay task number one take a couple of minutes to update the score so no need to worry about that and that's the way we have to complete this lab if you still have any doubts please let me know in the comment section and if you like the way i solve this lab please give one thumbs up so that other can use this lab thanks for watching and have a good day guys